Hey folks, Random Razor here. How's it going, guys? I'm gonna try to do a quick uh, video of this uh, radio here I, I have. Um, this will be my second and last uh, ra uh, second and last video of the vintage radios I have because I have two of them. Um, this would this one would be my favorite one here because it's also uh, has a digital and analog um, uh, display, which is a really nice mix in my opinion. Um, it is a uh, Pioneer FM Quartz Lock Steel Receiver SX 3700 and uh, this was made in uh, 1980 to 1982 and was the last series of radios to have a oak uh, wood veneer finish which is in really good pristine condition and a aluminum front uh, metal uh, front um, after this, I believe Pioneer started making their radios of all black, and I guess that's fine. I don't mind black, but this has definitely a better look, more uh, eye-catching uh, radio. Um, it was made in Japan and weighs about, I think, 25 to 35 pounds, which is um, really good because made well made in Japan equals good. Um, very good quality. Um, these radios are definitely made to last well past the millennium, and there are many of them around. I think. And uh, all the lights and stuff work, as you can see. Always like the lighting on for the analog display. As you can see, it's a mix of a, a digital display and analog display. Um, the radio itself is an analog radio, but just has a digital display, so it doesn't actually have a digital tuner, like um, like this one here. That would have a, a digital tuner. But anyways, um, it uh, has 45 watts output and. Uh, in this series, it's uh, like a mid-range kind of radio, um, around $375 at the time. Um, they had lower-end ones, higher-end ones. This would be, I think, would be considered a mid-range, so a little bit higher-end. Um, the controls here, we have the uh, tuning, um, phono, auxiliary, AM, FM. All the lights work, by the way, except for these two. The speaker control on and off, bass, treble, Filter, tape monitors, balance, uh, stereo, mono, toggle, loudness, and volume control. Um, personally, I make the volume control a little bit bigger because that's one of the main things most people use. Um, as you can see, we have the analog display, which I I don't even look at that. I always look at this. Uh, digital display. Oh, and this is glass, by the way, not plastic. So, um, good quality there. Uh, tuning signal, which is right there. Uh, this is quartz lock FM stereo there are two lights there that I think they burnt out because they're supposed to go on and the um, left and right speaker uh, intensity um, whatever it's called and uh, let's see now I only have uh, one speaker attached to it which is down here it's an RCA I don't know how many watts it produces this is powered sound system and uh, let's crank it up Now you can crank this thing all the way and it'll literally blow the speaker, so I do not recommend doing that. Um, as you can see back here, I'll move this stuff aside. As you can see back here, um, by the way, if you're wondering why I have this paper here, there's a printer right there. But anyways, uh, I have a coat hanger back here to use it as a FM antenna because I don't have an actual FM antenna. And uh, without the coat hanger, I couldn't really pick up any signal. So with the coat hanger, as you can hear, it made a really really big difference so it's a crude but uh, effective method um that big black thing there is a um uh crap what's it called an am antenna that's it which i never really use a uh, am as you can see i clean it up very good barely any scratches at all there are noticeable ones and um yeah it's in very good shape very good shape this will definitely last uh, hopefully a few more decades. Anyways, uh, that will be it for this uh, video, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys are looking out for a decent uh, radio receiver or um, whatever, um, I highly recommend one of these. If you see one out on the street and looks like in good condition, pick one up because they're definitely worth it. And definitely uh, look very nice. Have a great night, folks.